Rob. It's Chris Haddings here. I hope you're enjoying your Easter. It's a beautiful day out there today, but it's Wyoming. It's spring. You know this isn't going to last, right? Looks like we have one more mild day at least east of the divide here, as you can see. Uh, high temperatures, 50s across a much area east of the divide. You could even see some 60s in a few spots. Look out to the west here. 30s out here is going to be snowing out here uh, for Monday as we head into Tuesday. If my assistant now can move it along, there we go. High temperatures, you can see 30s just about everywhere. Some of these temperatures up in here, up around Gravel Warm, these may be a little bit higher. We may have to lower these a little bit. But it looks like it's going to be snow across much of the area. Can't rule out a little bit of rain mixing in, especially in the lower elevations around Gravel, also up around the Casper area, especially the precipitation lightens up a little bit. Moving on to the next slide. Al, please. Thank you. Wind gusts this could be another concern. Monday and especially into Tuesday, mainly north to northwest winds, strongest areas, cold advection areas. Bighorn Basin could be some uh, gusts, maybe 30, 40, maybe 45 miles per hour. They're causing blowing and drifting of the snow. But everyone could see gusts, maybe to 20 to 30, especially in open areas. Travel is going to be very, very difficult. Move on to the next slide, please. That's the big question. How much snow are we going to get? Well, this is through Tuesday night. There could be some additional snow maybe heading into Wednesday as well. This is what we're thinking right now as of about noon on uh, Sunday. Heaviest areas, Wind River Range, also the Salt Wyoming Range, portions of the uh, Sorcas. Could be up to two feet there. Hardest at lower elevations, probably the Lander Foothills, also rivered in with that upslope flow coming northeast. Now, one thing I want to emphasize here is there's still a little bit of uncertainty with the model. So, the exact location of the uh, heavy snow could be off by just a little bit. So, be sure you stay tuned to the forecast. It's probably tweak as we head on through. And as far as impacts for the storm, that's a pretty cool graphic, isn't it? Looks like a tornado picked it up and moved it away. Okay, uh, travel, once again, travel will become difficult in the west, especially late tonight, going into Monday, Monday night. In the east of the divide, we should be okay through the day on Monday, but later Monday night into Tuesday and even into Wednesday, a lot of snow out there, blowing snow as well. Near State 25, probably be impacted, I'd say, maybe more late uh, Monday night into Tuesday. And Air State 8, it could be impacted as early as Monday, especially to the east, west, I should say, out there, say, the Evanston area. As far as uh, snow accumulations, again, over a foot, very likely across many of the mountains, lower elevations. Six inches very likely for many spots. Again, exact location, still a little uncertain. We'll fine tune the forecast as we go forward. As far as wind visibility, 20 to 30 miles per hour, gusts to 45. This really could be a little quarter mile at a time, so if you have to go out and travel in this, make sure you be safe. Have a good day.